write as mixed numbers. This is a fraction. We need to write it as a mixed number because this is more than one whole. Eight eighths would make one. And this is obviously it is two eighths more than eight eighths, right? So it is actually one and two eighths. I can also see that from the number line. Because, okay, here I marked nine eighths. This here is ten eighths, right? But it is also exactly two eighths more than one. How about 17 eighths? You could again use the number line over here. 17 eighths. Look, we marked 18 eighths. 17 eighths is just one tick mark before it, right here. So it is two and one eighth, right? 12 fifths. I have a number line for this too. Remember? 12 fifths. We could use this number line where we had fifths. Okay, five fifths is here. Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten fifths, eleven, twelve fifths. It's this one here. Two and two fifths. The last one, I'm not gonna use the number line. Let's think. It's more than five fifths. Five fifths is one. So how much more is it than one? It is exactly three-fifths more, right? Five-fifths and three-fifths would make eight-fifths. Write as fractions. This is a mixed number. One and one-eighth. Okay, I could use my number line that had the eighths, but I can also draw. I'm going to show you another method for writing this as a fraction. And that is that I'm going to draw this first. One, one whole pi, and then one eighth. Okay. So how do I get this into a fraction then? What I will do is I will take this one whole pi and divide it into eighths. So now you can see how many eighths there are in total, right? Eight eighths and one more eighth. Nine eighths. Two and three fourths. We can use the same idea. That you wanna draw? Draw squares. Okay, two, yep, that's enough. Right. Three fourths. Okay, let's divide this into fourths too. Everything into fourths. And then two and three fourths. You see, you have one hole. And now I have two, and then three fourths. But how many fourths are there in total? Four fourths, four fourths, and three fourths. Four plus four is eight plus three. Eleven fourths. Last one. Can you figure that one out? Maybe you want to draw on your paper. Three and four fifths. You know, if I have one hole and it's divided into five parts, I would have five-fifths, right? It's five-fifths. Then draw another and another. You can probably figure this out before I get to finish drawing, right? Can you figure out how many fifths we will get in total once I get it all drawn and colored? Of course, this is the slow method, right? Five-fifths, another five-fifths, another five-fifths. Looks like three times five, right? And then four fifths in the last one. Three times five, fifteen, plus four, nineteen fifths. And indeed, there is a shortcut that we will study later in more detail. Three times five, fifteen, plus four, nineteen. And they are all fifths. Okay, well done with this lesson.